Yes, guys, how is it going? Welcome back to the adventure. I am so, so excited for today's game. We are going to the Emirates. It is Arsenal versus Liverpool. An absolutely monster clash and a huge, huge game for both teams. Liverpool, obviously, in a title race and Arsenal are in a battle to get into the top four. It's currently in Arsenal's hands to get into the top four. With a win today, they will be well on their way of getting there. I think they've now got two games in hand over Manchester United. Uh, this is not in including today's game so it'll be one if they win today it is such a huge huge game the atmosphere is going to be absolutely amazing it's a shame about the weather it absolutely sucks but it's time to get to the Emirates for Arsenal versus Liverpool let's go to the Emirates Stadium for this absolute monster clash between Arsenal and Liverpool. Bit of a rundown on the teams, no Mo Salah uh, for Liverpool, no Smith-Rowe for Arsenal. I expected Smith-Rowe to be out, but I really did expect Salah to start. Jota comes in, uh, the man who scored two goals here against Arsenal in the last time that these two teams met at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, Arsenal haven't had a great record against Liverpool this season. They got smashed at Anfield in November and uh, they got a 0-0 draw at Anfield in the Carabao Cup like, first game. That was a really good draw for them. They had a chance to take him here and get to the final, uh, but Diogo Jota scored two goals and uh, dashed Arsenal's hope of winning the League Cup, which Liverpool eventually went on to win. With Kepa's penalty, I think it's just touching down on Saturn. I think it's going over Saturn at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it's a really, really important game tonight for Arsenal. I think they've really, really got a chance to really solidify themselves as the top four, uh, as the top four team this year. Uh, could Chelsea drop out of third position? I don't know. Obviously, there's a lot of things up in the air about this takeover but Arsenal really with a win tonight can really solidify themselves in the top four uh, it, is, it isn't a must win but it is it's described on AFTV as, Arsenal, as, a, as a cup final so hopefully uh, it is a cup final atmosphere in there the atmosphere here has never let me down it does get a lot of criticism online but I've never got a bad word to say about it but I did come against Spurs and Liverpool in the cup where the atmosphere was top uh, but yeah hoping for an amazing game amazing atmosphere really excited to be here Oh, come on, Arsenal. Do sit your favour tonight as well. Come on. Oh, 
chance. Best chance of the game now for Arsenal. It's just nicked away from Robertson and Martin Allen Paul across the face of goal. First 15 minutes in practice. Saka's having a tough time on the right against Van Dijk and Robertson. But any player would, it's Van Dijk and Robertson. Arsenal really could be doing with Dover and Martinelli over on that side. Trent is more an offensive fullback. I think Martinelli's got a beating of Trent and he kind of knows that. And he just did it there. And Arsenal had a great chance. Arsenal's coming. Oh, come on, Kate. Come on, Saka. Nice. He's dragged out. Now take him on. Oh, shoot. 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 Oh, Okay, so half time at the Emirates, it's Arsenal nil, Liverpool nil, and to be honest, there could have been a goal for both teams. Uh, it started with a virtual Van Dijk header after about two minutes. It was a good save from Aaron Ramsdale. Liverpool really, really went at Arsenal. I think they must have had a game plan to score after the four or five minutes and set the tempo with the game, uh, but they didn't. Arsenal held strong, and they held strong pretty much the whole of the first half. The only really good Liverpool chance that I, I can remember is right at the end of the half. Uh, when Mane burst in through, but was just a little bit off balance, had two red shirts round him and uh, just smashed it into it, into the North Bank, into the stand. Uh, so in terms of Arsenal, they've not really troubled Alisson's goal, however, their attacking play has been pretty good. Uh, Martinelli needs to be taking on Trent Alexander-Arnold more, and the one time that he did, he beat him, pulled it across, and there was Andy Robertson who came in to clear. It was inches away from Lacazette uh, scoring a tap in. Um, Saka's been good, but however, it's a really, really tough ass going against Robertson and Virgil van Dijk. It's a tough ass for any player in world football, uh, never mind Saka, who's, I think he's only about 21 Saka, so there's lots of uh, potential in, in Saka, but maybe I'd swap him with Martinelli. I think Martinelli's been good, however, I think Saka will fancy his chances against Trent, because Trent is a more offensive rather than a defensive fullback. It's on his even here, really. It deserves to be a draw, maybe one all, but it is nil-nil. I honestly can't call which which way this is going to go. Obviously, Liverpool are going to kick this way. And uh, one one bit of quality for Liverpool can unlock any defensive world football. However, Arsenal are playing very, very well. And they know what's on the line in terms of their top four race. It is half-time. It is nil-nil. And it's going to go anyway. It could be a draw. It could be a win for either two teams. <laughs> Liverpool already out. They're ready. Hopefully going to be in quality second half. There we go, second half underway. Well, this is tactics. Might work. No, 
I did it. The Arsenal fans have enjoyed that. It did look tight. Said that Liverpool meant business, but inside a minute, they had the ball in the net. Ruled out though. It'd be interesting to see how close it was. Well done. Well done.
Thiago with Brett not taking that chance. It's a mistake by Thiago. Pulled back from Lacazette. Went round Allison. Oh, the guard. It's a chance to, uh, to score for Arsenal. He should have done it. And uh, ultimately, five minutes later, Thiago drops up. Score for Liverpool. And uh, send them on to a massive, massive win in the title race. Brilliant second goal from Roberto Firmino. Flicks in and Andy Robertson cross. What a fantastic result for Liverpool. Arsenal could be pleased with the way that they play, but disappointed with the result that came out of it. I thought Martinelli was absolutely exceptional, and before the miss, Martin Odegaard was brilliant as well. And Kieran Tierney was really good at the back as well, but it's Liverpool's night in North London. A massive, massive result. Closes the gap to one. What a title fight we're going to have between us and Liverpool this season. Oh, is it going to be red or blue? Which way is the Premier League going to go? But, uh, also, it also makes a massive, massive game when Manchester United come to the Emirates in a couple of weeks' time. Six points for both teams. It's Liverpool's night at the Emirates. Great effort from Arsenal. Uh, card. He'll be thinking of that for weeks to come. What a chance. Great finish from John Tavon. Credit to the Arsenal fans as well. They're still singing.